Your lie angle is probably the single most important spec on your golf club. Without the correct one, you can't hit the ball where you want. Stay tuned, and I'll give you an example of what happens when it's wrong and when it's right. Hey folks, I'm Paul from Paul Kelly Golf. I'm a top 100 fitter for North America. I want to talk to you today about how lie angles will affect your ball flight with an easy demonstration. So, I've got the exact same shaft, the exact same head. I have it in two degrees flat, two degrees upright, and standard. I'm going to hit a few shots with each one and then look at our ball patterns and see what happens. And folks, if you like the content on this channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, the like button, share to your friends, leave a comment, ask a question. I'll get back to you. The content will keep coming to you and you will play better golf. Thanks for watching. So that was the standard lie angle, and once again, I'm using the exact same shaft. I'm using the shaft that I use in my own clubs, the length, the flex, the tip, the grip. This is exactly like I play, I'm just changing the heads. So that was a standard head. All right, on to our next head. That was two degrees flat, exact same shaft, exact same everything. I just could not make good contact on that. The toe dropped down, I kept peeling it off to the right, I just couldn't get solid contact. The face left itself open. So now let's see what happens when I go upright. So now we look at the data and we can see the dispersion. With the toe up club, the two degrees upright, I still couldn't make good contact. It was better than flat, but I was not getting it clean. I uh, getting it towards the heel a little bit, even though it's reading center, I could feel it on the heel a little bit, and I could feel the heel digging in as it went through the ground. So the two upright didn't work for me. So the two degree flat didn't work at all because the drop of the club when I'm swinging, the deflection, the toe was already down, and now it goes into the ground and it produces toe dig, which then peels the club face open. So I hit everything out to the right. So when I get into the correct lie, which for me at this length shaft ended up being the standard lie, everything was flush, everything was down the middle, I could depend on my ball flight. So by changing my lie angle, which is such an insignificant expense to do and such an easy thing for me to do, I changed ball flights from far right, far left, to down the middle with the exact same swing. So, if you're struggling with contact and you're struggling with dispersion, let me check your lie angle for you. Maybe it's a really easy solution. I'm Paul Kelly. Thanks for watching.